Hello my dearest WordPress lovers! In today's tutorial we are going to make a pop-up on page load, so be attentive, let's start! So in order to create a pop-up on page load, first we need to click on add new and here we can see that pop-up box offers several uh, pop-up types. Uh, we can choose whatever we want for example i'm going to choose the download type and after choosing the download type you have to choose um, a pop-up template there are several ready-made templates however you can customize your pop-up the way you want and brand it i'm going to choose the food one okay let's create a download pop-up where users can download a receipt by clicking the download button on page load Okay, so in the general settings, you can see that by default, your pop-up is already enabled. And then you can write down a pop-up title uh, or you can leave it blank. And then in the display, you have to decide where you want your uh, box to show on. It can be on all pages. Um, the except means that you exclude some pages so there will not be any pop-ups and include means that you only um, include the pages that you want uh, pages and posts of course and for download type you also have to upload a file that you want to your users to download i'm going to upload a receipt and after uploading here comes the pop-up description again you can write down your description or leave it blank and then comes the pop-up triggers this is the most important part as we are going to create a pop-up on page load however let's check out what other options pop-up box offers so with pop-up box you can create a pop-up on page load of course on click or on button click and exit intent and you can also try the both function where it is both on page load and on click however as this video is about on page load pop-ups let's select the on page load type after you have to configure your pop-ups position i'm going to leave mine right in the middle and then in the settings section you can configure your pop-ups opening and closing you can uh, display whether you want uh, open delay for your pop-up or open by scrolling and also for closing there are tons of functions for example on scroll closing on scroll closing by clicking outside the box and also there are, uh, there are going to be videos on uh, many of those functionalities so you know how they work so stay tuned and in the advanced settings, you can uh, write down your pop-up name, enable social media links, and so on. In the style section, you can configure your pop-up styles, you can brand it, you can configure its dimensions, and so on. And you can also write down a custom CSS if you are uh, not satisfied with the functions or maybe there is little something that you would like to change or add and also here we have uh, limitation users where you can limit uh, your pop-up for guests or display for guests or you can restrict your pop-up by mobile by by like browser or um, their user roles and the last tab is the integration tab here there are several ways to integrate your pop-up and you can also check that out by yourself and we are pretty much done and after that you need to click on save and your pop-up will be on the page that you configured it to be so this is it i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned some new tips do not forget to leave a like and comment some video ideas that you have on your mind also if you're not subscribed hit your subscribe button and your notification bell see you soon bye